let's take a look at integer inequalities with absolute values. Which side makes the statement true? And we're comparing the absolute value to negative, the absolute value of four to negative nine. So a few things to keep in mind here. Remember absolute value is the distance of a number from zero and distance is always positive. So four is four units to the right of zero on a number line. So it has an absolute value of four. So we're comparing is four greater than, equal to, or less than negative nine. Well, a positive number is always bigger than a negative number. So positive four is bigger than or greater than, this is our symbol for is greater than negative nine. The absolute value of negative seven we want to know, is it greater than, equal to, or less than 1? Well, remember, absolute value is our distance from 0. Negative 7 is 7 units to the left of 0, but distance is always positive, so that has a distance of 7. So we're comparing, is 7 greater than, equal to, or less than 1? Well, 7 is bigger than or greater than 1. The absolute value of negative 9, is it less than, greater than, or equal to 0? Well, negative 9 is 9 units to the left of 0, which means it has a distance or an absolute value of positive 9. Well, positive 9 is bigger or greater than 0. Negative 7 compared to negative 6, we want to know is I'm sorry, the absolute value of negative seven, is it less than, greater than, or equal to negative six? Well, absolute value is a distance, right? Negative seven is seven units to the left of zero, and distance is always positive. So the absolute value of negative seven is seven, and then we can compare. A positive is always bigger than a negative. So positive seven is greater than negative six. three compared to the absolute value of negative seven. And we wanna know, is it equal, less than, or greater than? Okay, well, the absolute value of negative seven is positive seven. So we would say three is less than positive seven. Remember that absolute value is a distance from zero and distance is always positive. Eight compared to the absolute value of three. Okay, well the absolute value of three is three, right? Three is three units to the right of zero. So we can say eight is greater than three. Which sign makes the statement true? Two compared to the absolute value of zero. Okay. Well, the absolute value of zero is zero, so two is greater than zero. Negative five compared to the absolute value of eight. Okay, well, negative five is a negative number, the absolute value of eight is positive eight, right? Eight is eight units to the right of zero. So negative five, a negative number, is smaller or less than a positive number. So negative five is less than eight. Eight compared to the absolute value of zero. Well, the absolute value of zero is zero. So we would say eight is greater than zero. Negative two compared to the absolute value of five. Okay, well the absolute value of five is five, right? Five is five units to the right of zero. Since a negative number is always smaller than a positive, we can say that negative two is less than five.
Okay, which sign makes the statement true? The absolute value of negative 25 compared to negative 24. Okay, well, absolute value is a distance. So the distance of negative 25 from zero is it's 25 units to the left. So that becomes a positive 25. So if we're comparing positive 25 and negative 24, a positive is always bigger than a negative. So 25 is greater than negative 24. Fifty compared to negative twenty-seven. The absolute value of fifty. Okay, well the absolute value of fifty is fifty, right? Fifty is fifty units to the right of zero. And that's a positive number, so it's going to be greater than our negative twenty-seven. Forty the absolute value of forty-eight compared to negative sixteen. Well, the absolute value of 48 is just 48, right? Absolute value makes our number positive. And a positive number is always bigger or greater than a negative one. So 48 is greater than negative 16.